Hello, Amanda here from the Workforce Centers of South Central Kansas. And today I wanted to provide an introduction to our training opportunities in a little bit more detail. Training opportunities range from in the classroom training to on the job training. And they may be available if you're unable to find employment through a structured job search or if the industry you are working in has moved out of the area. Each potential training opportunity does have unique eligibility, suitability requirements, and you must be selective service compliant. Adult and dislocated worker program are for training opportunities on our in-demand occupations list. And you can find that list at www.workforce-ks.com. Both of the programs are fairly similar. There's just a minor difference here. So with both of them, you have to be 18 or older, eligible to work in the United States, and Selective Service compliant, which means that you've registered for Selective Service if you were born after 1960. The difference comes down to partially the wage that you've been making over the last six months and the reason that you may be unemployed. So for the adult program, you just have to be underemployed or unemployed, which means that you're making less than $12.02 an hour for the past six months. For our dislocated worker program, you must have received a layoff notice or been laid off eligible for unemployment benefits, unlikely to return to the same occupation, or being a spouse of a laid off worker. The wage an hour goes up a little bit on that particular program to $15.38. So you still must have made less than $15.38 an hour for the past six months if those other eligibility rules apply to you then you may be eligible for potential training opportunities. And as I go through here and go over all of our training opportunities, of course, if you're interested in any of them, you will know reach out to somebody at the Workforce Center if you think that you may qualify. Partner for work. Very similar in terms of 18 years or older, eligible to work in the United States, selective service compliant. With this one, you must also reside in South Central Kansas 10 County Labor Shed. You must have received a layoff notice or been laid off due to automation or technology. And you must be seeking reemployment in advanced manufacturing, financial services, information technology, healthcare, or transportation and logistics. On the job training may be an option as well if an employer agrees to customize a training program with the employer or industry specific goals they may have. The purpose of this is for them to be able to hire an employee that would not otherwise qualify for the job to teach them the skills needed to perform at the entry level for the position. The employer and the Workforce Alliance, they enter into a contract to subsidize the wages during the training period, contingent on the fact that the employer agrees to retain the employee when the training is successfully completed. Trainees are actually an employee of the company that has agreed to provide the training. Registered apprenticeships are a unique opportunity to begin making wages from day one. It's hands-on training that often you're able to earn potential credit towards an associate or bachelor's degree. The credential is portable and accepted by industries and employers across the United States. The really nice thing is Generally, you will have a long-term career with competitive salary and little to no education debt. 
some of the occupations in which apprenticeships are available in is being a bricklayer, an electrical apprenticeship, sheet metal, iron workers, carpenters, sprinkler fitters, plumbers and pipe fitters, just to name a few. If you're interested in apprenticeship opportunities, encourage you to check out our website, kansasworks.com. They're listed there as well. And, and then come into the Workforce Center if you're interested in applying. Kansas Advanced Manufacturing Program, also known as CAMP. It's funded from the America's Promise Grant. It's tuition-free skills training or work-based learning opportunity to prepare participants for careers in aviation or advanced manufacturing. All the training will be employer-driven and tied to specific employment opportunities in South Central Kansas. It's designed to move underemployed workers to higher paying manufacturing careers. With that being said, it means that an employer has to be on board with this particular training program because they have the job tied to this training in which we can kind of help subsidize the training cost. So to be eligible for this particular program, you must be eligible to live and work in the United States without need for an H-1B visa, currently unemployed or underemployed. And so underemployed for us means under $12.02 an hour not currently enrolled in any other post-secondary training, and you must meet all of the other employer-required criteria for employment. KPOP, also known as Kansas Health Profession Opportunity Program, is a grant that was designed to get people into healthcare industries. It was to assist low-income individuals with training in healthcare. Being that it is a study, two out of three participants receive the funds for training. It is currently nearing its end, so many of the opportunities within the healthcare K-pop program may not be available if you're unable to graduate by 12 2020. However, with that being said, Healthcare is one of those in-demand occupations, so it may actually fit into our adult program as well. So if you're interested in healthcare, uh, you know, we may have another avenue to help you out with that. So K-pop would be focused on healthcare. So if you're interested in that, just let us know and we'll figure out the right door to help you with healthcare training. patient care assistance or PCA. That is for certified nurse assistants or certified medication assistants. Must also be eligible to work in the United States. Must also be able to pass a drug screen and background check. And then able to earn a work keys silver NCRC certificate. So you don't actually have to pass and hold the certificate, but you have to at least show that you could pass it by working in our practice program. Our CSEP program, which is our Senior Community Service Employment Program, is for individuals 55 or older, must be unemployed, must be low income, and seeking employment. You will be required to look for work while in the program. It is to help enhance those skills, some retraining, if you will, is the overall goal to help seniors transition into employment. Trade Adjustment Assistance Program, also known as TAA. It's a federally funded program to help workers who have lost jobs as a result of foreign trade. For a worker to be eligible for this program, a TAA petition must be filed with the U.S. Department of Labor for certification. 
Some of the benefits include job training, income support, job search, relocation allowance, tax credit to pay for health insurance, wage supplements for certain re-employed trade-affected workers 50 years of age or older. If you think that you may qualify for this particular program and that a petition needs to be filed, three or more workers can file the petition, an employer's representative, unions, one-stop operators or partners like ourselves, state dislocated workers unit as well. Our youth team focuses on those that are out of school youth between the ages of 16 to 24 that may be interested in either completing their education, whether that's high school or furthering their education or training to find employment. They must also be eligible to work in the United States and have one barrier. And so barriers include things like being disabled, an English language learner, high school dropout, homeless, in a foster care facility or aged out of foster care, pregnant or parenting, or those subject to any stage of the judicial process, such as being arrested or on probation. Youth Employment Project, known as YEP, was designed to equip youth with obtaining and retaining employment. So that focuses on a little bit younger age as well, so 14 to 24. All participants earn an essential skills certificate, which is recognized by partner employers. With the workshops, they learn skills on resume writing, job search, interviewing, soft skills, customer service, and money management. HYPE, or Help Youth Prepare for Employment, was designed in collaboration to promote Wichita's Way to Work program and the YMCA's Job Prep program. HYPE consists of employment network, including the Workforce Alliance, Greater YMCA, City of Wichita, USD 259, and other districts in the region. If interested, you would want to contact the City of Wichita or the YMCA for further information on the programs. The Work Keys NCRC, the National Career Readiness Certificate, as you heard me mention before, one of our programs requires you to show that you are able to pass with the silver. Most of our other programs will require that you actually possess the silver certificate. So you will be required to take a test that would test you over locating information, reading workplace documents, and applied math skills. To validate your skills, to show that you would be more than likely successful in furthering your education. Many employers also recommend or require this certificate. It is something you can add to your resume, which is a great asset to your resume to show that you possess this. If you're interested in taking the test, there is a practice test that a workforce professional can get you signed up for. So you can practice and then you can sign up for the actual proctored exam online at workforce-ks.com. This is an example of what the Work Keys NCRC certificate looks like. This is a gold one here. So once you're done, you'll have this certificate um, to hold. This is, again, portable through, you know, all of the United States and recognizable. If you have any other questions about our training programs, please reach out to us and ask. If any of those programs sounded of interest to you, reach out to us so we can see if you may be a good fit for the program or if maybe there's another recommendation that we might have to help you meet your goals. Of course, if you do find employment, we'd love to hear about your success. Also, 
if you could subscribe to our channel, follow our Facebook. We'll be updating more and more of these videos to help you become successful in your job search. Thank you. Have a good day.